Let's balance the equation C13H28 plus O2. This is a combustion reaction. That's the type of reaction we have is hydrocarbon, oxygen, and we end up with carbon dioxide and water. So let's balance the equation. First thing we'll do, we'll count the atoms up. We have 13 carbons, 28 hydrogens, and two oxygen atoms. Product side, we have the one carbon right here, and then we have two hydrogens and two oxygens. But don't forget this last oxygen out here. We need to count that. Three total oxygen atoms. We'll leave the oxygen till last. It's by itself. When we change the coefficient here, it won't change the carbons or hydrogens. So oxygen goes last. Let's put 13 carbons. So 1 times 13, that's 13. And then for oxygens, let's update those. So we have 13 times 2, that's 26. Plus, we have the 1 here. That gives us 27 oxygen atoms. Okay, let's just fix the hydrogens here. We have 28 here and then only 2 over here. So we do need to put a 14 here because 2 times 14, that'll give us 28. And then let's update the oxygens because the 14, it goes to everything here. So 13 times 2, that's the 26 plus 14 times the 1 gives us 40. All right. So it's actually pretty easy to fix things at this point because we have 40 oxygens here and only two here. We left the oxygen until last. So when we put a 20 here, two times 20, that gives us 40. We're done. This equation is balanced. So that's the balanced equation for C13H28 plus O2 here. The type of reaction, again, it is combustion because we have a hydrocarbon combining with oxygen, giving us carbon dioxide and water. Specifically, it's organic combustion because this is an organic compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.